Hello and welcome. You're watching Go Southern Alberta. My name is Leanne Evans and I'm sitting here with the Small Town Pistols. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And um, so what brings you to Medicine Hat? We are here with Mr. Dean Brody um, performing at, at lovely this lovely, Esplanade. lovely venue. And we actually played here um, years ago, I think it was Terry, with Terry Clark to kind of open uh open it up. We were with our dad because we were in a band called the Wilkinsons for like years and years. <laughs> yeah, since we were little bubba's. So coming back here, it's like you walk in there like we just walked inside stage and I was like, oh, I love this room. So it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great show. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, how has the tour been so far? It's been great. I mean, really receptive and uh, I think we've only played one not sh sold out show. So Dean's ticket sales are going awesome in all of the, like, the markets that we're hitting. Uh, and even in the place where it wasn't sold out, the crowd was amazing. Like they were so into it and on their feet and rowdy. And I mean, for performers, that's what you, that's what you kind of want, you know, to have an audience to feed off of and kind of drive your performance, you know, up to the next level. And we got asked to uh, come on the tour sort of last minute. So we were still kind of like signing contracts as we were like for already playing shows. So um, we were going to come out with our full band, and um, they asked us to do an acoustic, which we've, we've grown up kind of playing both. So it's fun for us to be in these venues where we can hear, I mean, you can hear a pin drop. You see, like, immediate response right mm -hmm. away. So uh, you kind of have to be on your toes a little bit. I've run out of excuses. You're the only reason. So tell me about the Small Town Pistols and um, how this project started for you two. Um, we had toured our Greatest Hits album with our dad and had a television show on CMT. And um, after that, like, we had some crazy things happen in our family. Like, um, like the latest one was my, my mom developed breast cancer and, you know, thankfully she's cancer free today but I think it changed a lot for uh, our family especially my dad because he was just like you know this is kind of a young man's business and I just want to focus on my songwriting and I want to focus on producing other acts but I, you know I need to be home more with your mom and I want to be home more with your mom so um, he said I don't know what you guys want to do Amanda if you want to do another solo project or if Ty what if you want to still do your rock band but you know, you guys need to figure it out. So we yeah. went on hiatus, and at the time, I had split up with my boyfriend of like seven years. So I was going through a bit of a quarter life crisis, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so I moved down to Nashville more full time, and um, around that time, Ty had split up with his girlfriend. So I was like, "Dude, come down here. I Write don't know some what's songs. Happen, we got a lot of good, ammo right it's now. It's a good time for us to be writing music." And uh, so we came down and. We just hung out and drank a lot of beer, and and eventually we had this grouping of songs where we were like, I think oh, we had like, like that, like three or four songs. We just were kind of, kind of sat back and went, hold on, maybe this is different. Maybe this is something we should actually try and explore because this is different than anything we've ever done. It really kind of speaks to us on a personal level, and. I think that was the the, the kind of the catalyst. The catalyst that we, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was like okay we're going to move forward with this. And then we started to actually focus our, our attentions on writing songs specifically for this. And we had label we interest, but, uh, from a bunch of labels and, um, we ended up signing with 604 was Carly Rae Jepsen and Marianas Trench and Dallas Smith, who is doing very well in the country world yeah. as well. And uh, like just incredible people that they, they allowed us to do whatever we wanted to do. Oh, well, that's good to hear, you know, that you can move forward as the Small Town Pistols, right? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about the album that's coming out on February 19th. Um, it's self-titled. And we've worked with some awesome people on this record. I mean, so like, it's... blessed, yeah. Um, our first single was produced by um, and written with Joey Moy, who's worked with Dallas Smith and um, Jake Owen and uh, Florida Georgia Line. And just great experience writing and working with him. Um, and then our really good buddy, uh, Dave Kalmuski, we, we worked on the majority of the record with him. And he's just phenomenal. And we kind of are 
all like family, so we get each other in the <clears> studio, and it's just, it's not really hard work when you're in there with, you know, somebody you consider like a, a sibling. <laughs> So now you're talking about siblings mm -hmm. and your brother and sister, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. so how does that? How is that working together? Do you, you must have some agreements, some disagreements? I'm sure. How is it? It's evolved over time. I mean, when we were younger and teenagers, off you, you had like the teenager angst where, like, my dad. My dad was always like, "I said, hug it out, guys. I don't want to hear this," you know. But I think we're close enough in age that we kind of like think on the same level. I mean, we have our moments. We know when to pick <clears throat> our battles. The good, the good thing is that, I mean, if we argue, it's never a personality issue. It's always, it's, it always has something to do with, you know, the music and how we, you know, see it in our own mind or like how we see a song happening or how we see production happening. And, you know, it's always one of us kind of standing up and saying, no, this is how I feel. But sometimes that fodder is good because at the end of the day, it's like we're not settling. No. We're, pu we're pushing each other, and even though we might be like, ah, dude, I don't get that. Like, explain to me why you think that's wh how we need to do it. We lay everything out, and, at, you know, the final result ends up being the best we possibly yeah. can make There's it. never really any hard feelings, I mean, when we have, like, a, a knockdown drag out over, over I think, something. <laughs> I it's think after all these years, you probably wouldn't have survived, you yeah. know, not only as a family, but doing this together if we... Uh, if we didn't kind of learn how to have a really like symbiotic relationship. So, I mean, we're, we're buds. Yeah, we hang out. High five. <laughs> it's good to see some, you know, some yeah. love there. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been in this music industry for a very long time since you were little. So, and you've gone through so much. What's it been like? You know, you've won so many awards as well. You can't take anything for granted. I mean, no. it's nice to know that we have those accolades. Like, to, you know, our friends will come in, they're like, come, oh, they'll see, like, our Junos or CCMAs, and they start freaking out, and it's nice, it's a nice pat on the back, but I think for us, it's just, that always has been the ammunition to, like, don't settle. Yeah. Just because you got that doesn't mean that, like, you're the best of the best. There's always and somebody better than you, you know? It's kind of like, uh, if you get an award or a nomination, that's just your peers saying, we think you're you're great. We like what you're doing. Just because they said that once doesn't mean they're, not always gonna they're always going to say that. So <laughs> yeah. you still got to work and you still have to strive for um, being the best artist you can, writing the best songs you can, um, and, and never settling on anything just because you think you have <clears throat> that past record. So what can we see from you in the future? Um, we have a bunch of summer gigs that are coming up. A mm -hmm. lot of the festivals. Um, I'm trying to think of which ones we can actually talk about right now. Uh, I know go to one our of Facebook and yeah. we'll, they'll, they'll be listed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on our Facebook and on our Twitter, we're constant. We're like freaks about updating our social media. But I know we have a, a bunch that are bunch out this them. way. And our album comes out on the on the 19th of February, which is. Yeah. Exciting for us. Yeah. Nerve wracking, a little exciting, but we're, we're definitely looking forward to it. I'm sure it's a big adventure for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how can we find out more information about you? Yeah, like I said, you can check out our Facebook, which is just uh, forward slash small town pistols. And then our Twitter handle is SM Town Pistols. And we are on there a whole bunch. We yes. upload videos and all kinds of like, just like, just normal goofy stuff that we do every day anyways so it's it's a lot of fun for us to be able to to i mean we didn't have that before it's so crazy the world it's a great changed. it's a great way that you can connect with your audience and your and fans media, and right? they can shout out to you and you know and we're working most on times a website. you shout right back we're working on a new website right now and um so yeah people can come say hey and find out what's going on great well thank you so much for joining us today thank you thanks for having us Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.